I'm Scott Cannon, and I've been documenting problems people have been having with fracking for over four years. There is a problem of willful ignorance among the gas industry supporters and the gas industry itself, and it's evident in this film called Frack Nation. The premise of the film is that Josh Fox, the director of the film Gasland, is lying about the negative effects of fracking by lying itself. First, let's start off with the film director's conclusion. This has been quite a journey. I discovered a lot. Josh Fox was wrong about fracking. It didn't make water flammable. It's not exempt from environmental regulations. It doesn't contaminate water. Fracking is not causing dangerous earthquakes, and it's not causing widespread illness and death. It didn't make water flammable. According to one of Pennsylvania's leading experts and other scientists, it does. Former DEP head John Hanger, who was in charge when the Dimmick contamination occurred, confirms. John Hanger, Democratic candidate for the governor's job right here in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. So let me ask you this. Can gas drilling cause flammable amounts of methane in a water supply to be able to lit on, be lit on fire? Can you light water or can't you? Right. Well, you, the answer is you can, and it comes from one of two places. Either it was there all along, naturally, or in some cases, the, because of a mistake in gas drilling, uh, at a water supply that had no flammable level of, of uh, gas uh, could, in fact, get it. The film keeps mentioning that people were able to light their water on fire for hundreds of years. They have, but the film fails to mention that there is a difference between naturally occurring and man-made methane contamination. In man-made methane contamination, the gas company that caused it is responsible. This video, which I shot, flanked by two newspaper reporters, was never challenged by Chesapeake Energy, the company responsible for the methane. A representative from Chesapeake even called me to meet with me to discuss the video, but as long as I didn't bring my camera. I accepted their meeting, but only if I could tape it. They refused. Here is the DEP letter telling Mrs. Vargson that the gas drilling is responsible for her being able to light her tap on fire. It's not exempt from environmental regulations. Fracking is not exempt from all regulations but it is exempt from some important ones designed to protect us. Here is an interview I conducted with Congressman Matt Cartwright, a former lawyer and a pretty smart guy. The Clean Water Act, the Clean Air Act, the Safe Drinking Water Act, uh, the uh, Resource Conservation and Recovery Act, RICRA, uh, all of these are, are very, uh, very well established and well thought out environmental statutes that cover the in entire United States that every industry in the United States has to comply with except one, and that's the oil and gas industry. Uh, now, why, is, why does the oil and gas industry have exemptions from, uh, from the Clean Water Act, the Safe Drinking Water Act, the Clean Air Act, RICRA? Why, why does it have exemptions from them? Because they can. Because they've got all this money to do lobbying with. Um, and that's the only reason. It's not because it makes sense, not because it's ethical, uh, not because uh, people want uh, exemptions for the oil and gas industries because it's logical or anything like that. It's only because it's a power play, uh, because of the money involved in that industry. It doesn't contaminate water. It doesn't contaminate water? Fracking is just one process of the whole drilling operation, but it is several other processes that cause the methane contamination. Most people think fracking is the whole process. The industry uses this red herring to confuse and mislead. It doesn't really matter to people affected which process of the drilling operation contaminated their water, just that it did. From 2007 till now, there have been 243 cases of water contamination, just in Pennsylvania alone, from gas drilling, confirmed by the Pennsylvania DEP. Fracking is not causing dangerous earthquakes. It is, according to the nation's leading seismologists. Both fracking and fracking waste disposal are causing earthquakes in five states. 
the drilling in nearby fracking wells is what's um, causing these quakes. In fact, the area's been hit by more than a dozen tremors this month alone. It's seen more earthquakes, in fact, since fracking began there in 2008 than during the previous four decades combined. And it's not causing widespread illness and death. And cigarettes were considered safe until studies were done to determine that that was false. Studies on health effects of fracking are now being conducted after the fact that horizontal fracking has been going on for a decade. Meet the Sautners. They say that fracking for natural gas polluted their water. We had uh, iron, chloride, sodium, strontium, barium, three different types of uranium, two of them are weapons grade. And here they are when they learn the great news from the EPA that their water is perfect. Now this is bull oh, I'm sick and tired of this. Frack Nation, January 22nd, 9 p.m. Eastern on Access TV. In this scene, the EPA tells the Sotners of Dimmick that their water was drinkable, but not perfect. What Frack Nation doesn't show you is the last part of this meeting. The thing that we're here to see is, is your water safe? Any agreements that you have, any quarrels you have... You're saying my water's safe. Okay. I'm going to get some of you guys. I want you to drink it. I don't want to drink water. in your water. One. Because you think I can drink it? Why can't you drink it? The Sotner's home was bought out by Cabot in the lawsuit. The deed says that no residence or dwelling will ever be permitted to be built on this property. Forever. Why make a movie like this? For money. There are gas leasers and people in the gas industry that want so bad to believe that fracking is safe, they're willing to pay other people to lie about it. Here's another video that fully demonstrates the filmmaker's real character. Where are you from? Ireland. Ireland, okay. Were they banned plastic bags? Yes, we were one of the first to ban plastic Which bags. Which is so fantastic. And, and we are one of the biggest, we have had the worst recession in the developing world. Are the two things connected? Banning plastic bags seems to sort of meet. Ireland was one of the greenest countries earlier to all, and is now suffering one of the worst recessions in the developed world. Are the two things connected? You had a huge boon not too long yes, ago. Like yes. Like major, massive, maybe you overextended yourself. And then, No, then we got the Greens in government. Greens got into a coalition government. Okay, well, I don't know that much about your country, so I can't really argue about it. All I know is that I'm really happy about the plastic bags because in Europe, one of the great things about Europe was that it used to be that everyone carried their own bag, which is the mindful, less wasteful thing. No, it's to called do. poverty. You're confusing. You're confusing that culture. That's not. That's well, not. Then, that's not European. That was just we were all poor. Okay. You were all rich here, and you uh, you were able to throw away your bags. Yeah, but they but they end up, you know doing terrible things to no, the environment. What? Plastic bags? Yes, they do. They get tangled up in trees. They get tangled up in... They go into the ocean. They get eaten. The fish eat them. They consume them. They die. Or we eat the fish that have the, the um, toxins and, from and the we're plastic. All, and we're all living until we're 90. <laughs> Don't you know humanity is the... But the, cancer's up. Autism's up. Cancer is a disease of old age. I'm so yeah. glad we're having this debate. <laughs> I'm a huge fan of your work. Thank you. You're I very am. sweet. Uh, Thank you. Yeah. Well, I'm a huge fan of your accent. <laughs> that was fine, you see. That's, it's called debate. And uh, I thought it was very positive. So as far as truth goes, this film gets a thumbs down. That is my review of Frack Nation.